Hello everyone and welcome to Think Create Done Productions with me Amar Qureshi. Today is the 16th of December 2017 here in Karachi. It's a really cold day as you can tell I'm wearing my jacket. Today I wanted to talk to you about free filmmaking resources and also free video editing resources for your YouTube videos, for your vlogs, for your short films. I remember when I was in film school, it was really difficult to get hold of these resources which were free and you could use them without, you know, any copyright worries. Many a times our teachers would give us assignments that would require us to create sound effects or to get footage that would be nearly impossible for us to record. For instance, if we wanted to do something like an alien invasion, it would be really difficult for us to get footage of outer space. So, stock footage really helps you out in those instances where you really need footage or sound effects that you cannot recreate on your own as a beginner filmmaker. This video is going to be separated into two sections, audio resources and visual resources. In audio resources, we'll be covering free sound effects that you can use in your movies, in your short films, in your YouTube videos. And in the visual section, we are going to be covering video and image websites that you can download images, vector graphics and videos of and use them without any copyright worries in your videos. Now, let's get to it. In the audio section of our video, let's begin with the first website, freesound.org. Freesound is one of the biggest repositories of free sound effects on the internet today. Trust me when I say there never has been any instance where I could not find a sound effect that I needed on this website. It contains a huge amount of public domain sound effects as well, which means sounds that you can use in your videos, whether they be commercial or personal videos, and not have to worry about attributing the person who created the sound. So this is a really great website where you can just find huge amounts of sound effects. The second website on our list is YouTube's audio library. Yes, a lot of YouTube creators might already know about YouTube audio library because it is such a huge and popular repository of music and sound effects. In the YouTube audio library, you can find both music and sound effects to use in your videos without any copyright worry, without any tension of, you know, attributing the owners. So this is a great way to download music that you can use in your film. For example, if you wanted to create a short film that's scary in nature, that's horror in genre, and you wanted a horror track, but you cannot find a horror track for free, and you do not have the money to get one composed, you can always search the YouTube audio library for such a track, and I'm sure you will find one. because. There have been many a times when just looking on the YouTube audio library, I have been able to find great tracks for my videos on YouTube and generally in my film school assignments. The third website on our list is primarily a music website, Free Music Archive. Free Music Archive is a huge website filled with a large collection of music tracks that you can use in your videos and short films without any worry of copyright. Now, there are some conditions that you have to follow in this website and the, and not all songs on this website are to be used in your videos. There's a section in the website which is called music for videos. You could go through that and find music that you can, that you can use in your videos without worry. So make sure that you read the license terms whenever downloading a song because some songs are to be attributed back to the creator and some are public domain. So that means you can use them without any worry. Now let's move on to the visual resources. The first website on the list of visual resources is Pixabay. Pixabay contains a large collection of images that you can use in your videos and even your photo projects if you want to for free without having to attribute the creator of the image. Pixabay is a great website filled with public domain images that you can use in your websites, in your commercial projects without worry. The third website on our list is freepick.com. Freepick.com is a great website filled with vector graphics, PSDs and even stock images that you can use in your videos and all you have to do before using those images is to credit the creator of the image and you can use all the images or the PSDs or vector graphics that you want in your videos without worry. The next two websites I am going to talk about collectively, yes, Pond5 and Archive.org. Pond5 and Archive.org are two websites which are known for their public domain video collections. Now, by public domain, I mean that these websites contain collections of videos and images dating back 
to the 1900s. Now this means that there are videos, movies and collections of clips on both of these websites which you can use in your videos commercially for free without having to worry about getting a license. So for example if you have to make a documentary on something like the arm trade in the 1920s you could download all the clips you want from this website archive.org or even pond5.com and download them and use them in your videos without having to worry about copyright or any of such issue. The next two websites are also stock video websites. They are known as VidEasy and VidEvo. VidEasy and VidEvo both work on the same terms. They both are websites that offer you free stock videos. You can use videos of both these websites without having to worry about any copyright strikes or commercial repercussions because they only require you to credit the creator of the video and as long as you do that you can use them in any commercial project you want. The last website on our list is youtube.com itself. Yes, if you did not know this, YouTube has a huge collection of creative common videos that you can use in your videos as long as you credit the creator of the video. To find such creative common videos on YouTube, all you have to do is go up to the search bar, write what you want to search for. For example, I want to search for ice cream. So I write ice cream and I press search. Now when the results come in, all I have to do is go up to the filter section and there will be an option creative common and click on that. Once I click on that, all the videos that YouTube will show are going to be creative common videos which you can use in your videos and YouTube videos and not have to worry about repercussions or copyright strikes as long as you remember to credit the YouTuber who made those videos. So I hope these resources were useful to you and I hope that you learned something out of them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Think Create Done Productions, so that you can have the latest and greatest content on filmmaking and photography delivered straight to your front page. Till next time, this is Ahmed Qureshi with Think Create Done Productions, signing off. Bye.